Welcome back, O oh, ye pundits. <laughs> we have a lot to talk about. Glad to have you here. Sally in Florida and other key swing states, uh, a recent poll by the New York Times, uh, Quinnipiac University, it's hard to say that word sometimes, uh, shows President Obama up by, in Florida by nine, uh, in Ohio by 10, in Pennsylvania by 10. Um, some people say, well, it's over. He's, Governor Romney is, is, is done. Uh, do you believe that? No, it's not over. I mean, we have, you know, a month and a half less left in this election, and there, that's a lot of time in a presidential election. We were talking earlier, and I said at this point in 1988, my first presidential race to work in, uh, Dukakis was winning. He was going to be President Dukakis, and we don't even consider that as an option now, so it's not over. But we do have an interesting dynamic in this race, uh, a couple things I'm sure we'll talk about today. But one is that the President hasn't yet fully made the sale. So you almost have Mitt Romney in third place, and you have President Obama in second place, and nobody is yet in first place. We have a situation where both candidates are still splitting independent voters, and nobody can win the presidency without winning the independent vote. So this is a very fluid race. We have a debate coming up next week, and I think you have, you'll see a real opportunity by Governor Romney to make his case as people begin to focus and, and these, these candidates go after these independent voters. Scraven, what about that? We learned a very valuable lesson in 1988, by the way. Don't get in tanks. And, <laughs> and so, but we're, uh, you know, listen, I, I, I think it, the nine points is, I don't, in the state of Florida, I, I'm not sure I believe that. I do believe the president's up. And I, Sally said that the president had made the sale. The person had made the sale and is not connected is Governor Romney. He is the people of Florida and the people of the United States are just not buying what he's trying to sell. You know it had to come up today, but the comment about the 47 percent. The man said that I don't have to worry about those people. I don't have to worry about them because they don't take responsibility for their lives, they're victims. I think that sealed the deal. I think he offended 47 percent and other people who, who, who are related and know some of those folks. I think this is a man who is coming off in Florida in this country at an, as an elitist. He, that is what he is. And people have made their mind up, Steve, that this is not a guy they want in the presidency. I don't know if it's nine points in Florida, but I think it's getting very, very close to being over. Justin, uh, Republicans are frustrated, I think, about what they consider to be bias in the media. Uh, like, for example, the coverage of the Libyan uh, assassination or murder of the uh, ambassador there and the way the administration has, quote, covered it up and, and nobody's been covering that in the mainstream media. Uh, and also that Go uh, President Obama almost seems to be Teflon-like and has been compared to Reagan along those scores, along that line. Uh, do you feel that he is kind of Teflon-like and may go right into the presidency? Uh, despite the fact that there are controversies about his administration? Well, um, you know, my first presidential campaign was in 1992, and there were bumper stickers that Republicans had that year that said, annoy the media, re-elect Bush. And so, um, you know, that strategy, that strategy didn't work. <laughs> and I am someone, a Republican, who acknowledges that, and I think, I don't think it's even disputed, that the media does tilt towards the left. But you know what? If we're going to win campaigns, we can't obsess over that as Republicans. And we just ha need to accept that every game we play is going to be on the opponent's home field. That's the analogy. That's the metaphor that I like to use. And I don't think that it's, it serves Republicans well to cons consistently complain about media bias. It exists. We've got to deal with it. And we've got to win despite it. So from that perspective, yes, President Obama definitely gets tre better treatment from the press than, than Governor Romney does. And Governor Romney and the campaign and Republicans are going to have to find a way to win despite that fact. Sally, uh, speaking of obsessing, <laughs> a lot of Republicans are obsessing about polling right now because it's showing some big gaps between President Obama and Governor Romney. And a lot of people are saying that the polls that show those gaps uh, are weighted too heavily toward Democrats and performance in the 2008 election. Uh, do you buy into that argument? I do, but let me say a couple things about polling. I have a good friend who frequently says polling is a reflection of what people believed yesterday, 
And again, we still have 40 days to go, a month and a half in this presidential. To the point about whether or not the polls are weighted wrong or are there are issues with some of the national polling data, I think yes. I mean, even the St. Pete Times released a column last night which indicated there are some problems where perhaps the turnout model is wrong in these national polls, the NBC poll, the CBS poll you referenced. I don't think any of us believe turnout among 18 to 39 year old voters is going to mimic or duplicate what we saw in the election of 2008, yet these models that are used for current polls indicate that that's the case. So there, there are some problems. The fact is, I mean, we need to be honest about this. You know, Governor Romney is behind, but we have a debate coming up where he has an opportunity to to shine. He certainly debated more in the last couple of years than, than President Obama has had to debate. And he will have the opportunity to make his case in an unfiltered way, which mm -hmm. is what we need to see, a little Mitt Romney unplugged on these issues. It's really interesting to hear Screvin talk about Governor Romney not make, making the sale yet. It is unfathomable to me that we can see a GDP growth rate of 1.3 percent, which had to be adjusted down by the Obama administration today. And people are, are calling this race over. There are too many fluid factors out there on the economy that I think Governor Romney will have a chance to talk about in these in these Scrub, debates. Well, on, on polling to that point, I do some polling in campaigns, and it's they're like Steve a science experiment. You know, you get in the people that do polls, they do them different ways. So you you wait 08 versus the turnout in 08 versus 10, which was not a very good year for Democrats, and each pollster does it differently. But here's the thing that my experience in politics has been this, when all the polls say one thing, it's very rare that they're all wrong. You know, you, you, you have a race, if you remember this, the, the, uh, the governor's race here in Florida with, with um, Governor Scott and Alex Sink. At the end, those were going back and forth. There were some had her up, some had him up late. You know, and that race ended up being very close. But my experience has been when all the polls, including Fox News, has the, the president up nationally, the president up in the swing states, and a president up in Florida. Very rarely are they all wrong. And it's interesting to hear the Republican Party all of a sudden quit talking about issues and start talking about the polling's wrong. That's what we're talking about now. The polling's wrong. We're not talking about the issues. Scriven, do you think there's a danger that President Obama and his campaign can get overconfident? Yes. Absolutely. As Sally said, and I'll agree, there are too many factors out there, Steve, with the, the, some, some unrest in the Middle East, uh, some, some of the economic numbers that Sally just talked about, except in Florida we just got numbers that consumer confidence is at a five-year high. So, but there are enough factors out there. I don't know if we're going to talk more about the debates. Debates usually Let's are... Let's go into them right now. Okay. Debates are usually, in my estimation, confirming events. People watch debates and it confirms the way they feel. Uh, about the one or the other candidates. They very rarely swing undecideds. Uh, I do believe these debates will be important. There's been a lot of, you know, the media and the, and, the, and the television ads have been fairly negative. I think voters want to see what these two gentlemen have to say. But to your question, is there enough time for, for the numbers to move a little bit? Yeah, I think, I think overconfidence, and we've seen that in other races here in Florida, uh, is very dangerous. And I, I, but I do not think the president He's got great staff, great advisors. I don't think he's going to do that. All right, let's focus in on the debates themselves. Justin, uh, there's going to be a lot of preparation for these debates mm -hmm. because I think the races are so the race is so tight. What are Governor Romney's advisors telling him that he must do and must not do in these debates? Well, I think given the fact that it appears that in many of these states that he's trailing in these big swing states like Florida, the governor around me is trailing a little bit, he needs to do something to change the uh, narrative to get some momentum. The mo momentum that I think he had when he named Paul Ryan to be his vice presidential running mate. And so what he needs to do is he needs to, to talk specifically about what he's going to do to get the economy moving again because that still is a huge issue. Unemployment here in Florida is 8.8 percent. There's still too many people unemployed. There's still too many storefronts that are unoccupied and empty. So he needs to talk very specifically about that. He also needs to humanize himself a little bit more and, 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 and reveal that he understands the concerns of people that are facing a down economy. And three, I think he really needs to have an effective critique of President Obama and use the debates as an opportunity. The debates are a huge risk for President Obama and they're a huge opportunity for Governor Romney. Sally? 
I, ca I can't add anything to that. I completely agree. And I would just say, again, the economic factors cannot be underestimated. When one in six people are in poverty, and that is significantly worse than it was when this president took office, those facts matter. And this is a question of educating people who have not yet made up their mind. And there is a significant enough group of undecided voters that it can make a difference in this race. Jim's hiring and Osama bin Laden's dead. I mean, those are the things. He has to talk about what he's done. He did it in his speech at the convention. He came off very presidential, very tough. He needs to talk about it. We see the stock market soaring, soaring. Home prices rebounding. Auto industry saved. Foreign policy. Yeah, there's been some bumps. There's always bumps for presidents. We got out of Iraq. Osama bin Laden's dead. He needs to talk about what he's done. Governor Romney has not given any plans doesn't release his taxes, doesn't talk about his tax plan. He hasn't defined himself. He hasn't said what he'll do. It's just what this guy hasn't done. I don't think that's a winning strategy. Is there a way that he can mess up? The debates? Mm-hmm. I don't think so. I, I, I don't think that, that the president's demeanor and, and, and history shows that, he, that, that he's going to get out on a limb on anything. I, I think, again, Steve, I think he needs to talk about his record. Uh, and I think, and, and I, I think we saw that in a very strong convention speech where he looked very presidential, very tough. I hope that he talks about Me his too. record because if he will finally he talk about his record, <laughs> then he will lose this race. I mean, the, the Obama campaign credit is due because in the midst of a very divisive Republican primary, they were able to come out immediately after and attempt to define who Governor Romney was and was not, which has gotten the Romney campaign off track a little bit. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been able to show what type of person he really is. Right, yeah. and, well, the, and the Obama campaign, they don't want to talk about the economy. They don't want to talk about the growth and the size of government. They don't want to talk about the $1 trillion annual deficits that this U.S. U.S. government is running under the Obama administration. Those are the things they don't want to talk about. They love to talk about anything other than that. So I hope that Governor we Romney uses they the hire debates. You as their consultant for <laughs> and these talk debates. Talk about his record. <laughs> well, what we, we don't, what we won't word. do is bring Clint Eastwood to the debates. <laughs> okay, that's it. We're going to go to break.